it is time to reassemble and install the power shaft. I've cleaned up all the parts and you can see them here, all good and clean and ready to go back together. So I'm referencing the book. First thing they talk about is putting the new seal in. You have a thrust washer, a snap ring, and then it goes into the caliper. And then the plate goes on as well. So I've laid the parts out. Here's the power shaft. The uh, seal goes here and I'll press that in. This thrust washer goes on to the power shaft like that. And when it's all done, that dust cover will go over and snap ring will hold it together. So let's put it together. Now during reassembly, it's extremely important that you use the proper grease. It is a high temperature clay-based grease. You don't want to use lithium-based greases. They actually give you a warning here. So I'm using the Mobile Temp SHC32, and I also have some of the Mobile Grease 28, basically the same grease. One is military, one is industrial. So make sure as you assemble, you have the right high temperature clay-based grease. The grease has kind of a red color to it. I'm going to put the thrust washer on. There we go. A little more grease on there. And it does say the thrust washer comes as part of the kits and does recommend you change that. grease fitting so <clears throat> now of course fill it full of grease but this grease is a lot thinner and feels a whole lot better than the grease that came out the grease that came out was really getting kind of thick might have been contributing to some of the uh, some of the problems smooth okay Put some grease in here.
grease in the bottom here to the thrust washer pushes. Cleaning the old grease out of the grease fitting there. Okay, let's see now. thrust washer or the thrust power shaft goes in Okay, let's put the uh, the dust shield on. I did put a little bit of primer on that just to keep it from rusting. Probably not necessary, but. Okay, let's put the uh, snap ring back on. Okay, I struggled with that snap ring for quite a while, but nonetheless, it is on there now. And you can see as it turns, the spline comes out and out of push against the uh, against the disc. Looking at the consistency of this new grease versus the old grease in here, I would say uh, I'm very glad I'm going ahead and redoing this because it's uh, much thinner and obviously is lubricating much better. Okay, we put the, uh, the shaft into the uh, caliper here, power shaft. Now we have to put the plate on. Okay, I'm going to tighten those up to the uh, proper torque. Okay, we're going to torque these bolts to 170 foot-pounds is what the book calls for. So first I'm going to go to 100 foot-pounds. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to 170 by myself here without somebody holding this thing. Okay, there's 100 foot-pounds. All right, I'm gonna torque it up to 170, but I'm probably gonna have to mount it in a vise or hold it some other way. Okay, now we need to install the boot on this side. I put the O-ring here inside. There is an O-ring that, that seals. You can see in the book here. They talk about installing this O-ring that goes down into that slot. Then we need to press the 
press the boot on, they show a special tool, but we're gonna have to do it carefully without the special tool. And I'm just gonna use a, uh, a punch and just carefully work my way around it. Trying not to damage it. So just use a punch and push it in. Okay, we need to slide this backing plate into, into the caliper. Well, Easier said than done. Okay, there we go. Pass the O-ring in there. Uh, then it'll slide in. And the boot will snap onto the caliper. And there you go. Okay, probably now the hardest piece is getting the spring slid in there and then getting the snap ring put back on so I'm gonna try to get set up to do that and see how it all works out I'm not sure I can do this by myself but that goes in that plate goes over and then you have to press press that back as you put on the snap ring all right well I wasn't able to film that process but you can see the snap ring is on there and we are ready for the final assembly if you remember during disassembly, there was the uh, cover and this little, uh, I guess you'd call that a snap ring as well. So I'm gonna put that on and we are done overhauling the caliper. All right, the cap and the retaining ring are installed and uh, we have completed the job. You can see if you turn the uh, power shaft, it extends out like it's supposed to. Feels very good and smooth. All new parts. So we're ready to reassemble. Okay, it's time to install the brake pads. I put the lower pin in, which allows it to pivot down. You can see the, the pin there. So you put that pin in, and that allows the brake caliper to pivot downward. And then you need to slide these brake shoes Okay, I got one, the inner brake shoe slid on. It's rather difficult. You gotta kind of push down and get this V groove to, to push down below the caliper through the slot. Hard to explain. You'll just have to experience it for yourself to see how that goes. All right, it's very difficult to explain how to put these on, but there's a little notch down there. You gotta slide them through and push down and then pull them either towards the outer or towards the inner. You want to install the inner first and then the outer. 
If you're taking them off, remove the outer and then the inner. I don't know if you can see on the bottom here, but these clamps here are above and this it fits on this kind of flat surface. It's kind of a V shape. So you got to push down and slide them back through this notch. Very hard to explain, but you'll, you'll see when you start to, to play, play with them. They're not, they're not that hard. I got the uh, caliper reinstalled. I do not have those springs that go in here. They talk about adding. So we may have to put those on when you're here, but I've got the uh, pins in, got everything torqued back up. I still have to put on the air chamber and the uh, slack adjuster, but I got the pads in. And I got the uh, pin in the bottom. Now, I left out those anti-rattle rubber pieces like you told me to. So I think I got the caliper back on. Everything's looking good. I'll keep you hey, posted. Joe, I have the... Uh, air cylinder back on. I uncaged, I set the, uh, um, I backed it off about a quarter turn from having the discs all the way in. I had a little bit of 